Hey everybody and welcome back to Just a Mental Note. I am back, or at least I'm going to try to be. I am so excited. I got all of this new equipment over Christmas. I have a whole new setup, which I spent so long working on. And of course, my first video back is in my bathroom. watch my previous video you'll know that I have been struggling and that hasn't really changed. I'm still struggling with my mental health. However, I have now started official trauma specialized therapy. I know that previously I did a vlog stating that I was going to be doing narrative therapy and we tried that a little bit but I don't know. We just we didn't really stay on top of it. It didn't work well for me and that therapist. So now I'm going to a therapist who specializes in trauma therapy. She specializes in ADMR, no, EMDR, EMDR. So I am starting that whole process and I'm really, really hoping that working on my trauma and working through all of these things will help me to live better emotionally. But I mean, we've also been in quarantine for almost a year at this point and that's going to have an impact on my mental health. One thing that I have found that has really, really helped my mental health is doing my skincare. I have fallen in love with skincare YouTube. And if you have any channels that you watch that you think I should watch, recommend them down below because I just, I want all of the information. I watch just the influencers who don't necessarily have the educational background, but I also like listening to estheticians and dermatologists. I love it all. And I've really fallen in love with the whole skincare ritual. It is a time for me every day to just take a few minutes to myself and focus on myself. I started really getting into skincare because I felt like it was one part of my body that I could have some form of control over. I am still dealing with a lot of chronic pain issues. I actually fell the other day. I went to sit down in my wheelchair in here and it slid out because I didn't have it locked and I fell straight on my tailbone and caught myself with my arms. So both my hips and my shoulders have been affected and I have been in so, so, so much pain, which is why I haven't been able to sit down and film in my new space yet. I will insert footage right now of the whole area that I have set up. I'm really excited to finally film there and just have a dedicated filming space. My husband got me all of this new equipment for Christmas and he helped me set up this dedicated space so that way I could use it for YouTube and really get back to the thing I love doing because I love doing this. I like filming, editing, but my favorite thing of course is being able to talk to all of you guys and sharing stories, recommendations, all of those sorts of things. So feel free to reach out to me at any time. I do deal with physical and mental health issues so I don't always reply right away, but I try to reply to every single message that I get. So if for some reason I haven't replied to yours, send it again. I will say Charlie is in here with me. Here, take the camera off so you can see the little bubba. But eh, Charlie is in here with me. So if you hear any of his snores, that's why. He's just hanging out. Bubs, you wanna say hi? Hi. So in my first video of this year, I talked to you guys about wanting to be a more ethical consumer, and that has been really, really important to me. So all of the products that I'm gonna be using today, I'm not gonna to get too into my skincare routine. If you guys wanna know more information about the products, about why I chose them, those sorts of things, I can let you know all of that because, like I said, I have been obsessed with skincare YouTube, and there's a lot of random skincare knowledge in my brain now. But I did want to show you guys the products that I will be using in case you are interested. And I did want to tell you that all of these products are cruelty free and I believe they're all vegan. I cannot 100% say that they are all vegan, but I know for a fact that they're all cruelty free and they're all relatively affordable. So we right, got products in here from e.l.f. We have a face mask in here from ColourPop. Lots of products from the Inky List, another e.l.f. product. I have two moisturizers here because I am running out of the top one. I have a shipment on the way. It's just not here yet. 
So I have e.l.f. moisturizer and then that is a Beauty Bay moisturizer. And then that is another ColourPop product. It is a rose lip mask. So I use a decent amount of products. I enjoy skincare. I enjoy using a lot of products. You obviously don't need to use this many products. But this is a time for me to sit down and relax and just not have to worry about everything else in my life. So I wanted to invite you guys in on that little just quiet personal time tonight. Got my phone. I usually have a skincare routine or a skincare video playing so that way I can learn something while I do my skincare. First thing is I have to drink a lot of water because I talk a lot and it makes me thirsty. But also it's good for your skin. For those of you who are curious, I have dry skin. I have dry skin everywhere. Um, I'm kind of sensitive. I try to avoid as many products that would be um, irritating to my skin as I possibly can simply because I don't want to oversensitize it and also the medications that I'm on can make me oversensitive to certain things. So I really try to play it simple and safe-ish. First thing I have to take off my jewelry. Now I can't see you guys. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to go in with our cleanser. The only problem, well, it's not the only problem with living in this apartment. This apartment is not made the best. It looks nice, but when you live here, you realize there's a lot of flaws. One of them is that the water is freezing cold when it comes out and it stays that way for a hot minute. So we have to wait for the water to warm up. I'm really sorry environment. I'm really sorry. I just can't put ice cold water on my face. All right, it's warm. Wash time. I will say the wheelchair is very nice to be able to sit down in. I obviously can't sit in it all the time when I have, I have to get up to like wash my face and go over the sink. It hurts my hips, but it's only for a minute, but it's really nice to have like this permanent seat everywhere that I go. That is definitely one of the things that I have found the most convenient about having a wheelchair is that I have a seat literally everywhere I go. I can always sit down. I don't have to worry about finding somewhere to sit down because that was always something that I had worried about before. I mean, since we've been home in the pandemic, there's always a place to sit down, but it's just nice to, you know, be able to follow my husband around the house and not have to worry about like dragging a chair with me so my hips don't hurt. I just get to roll around in my chair. All right. Clean. Now we're going to go in with our avocado superfood nourishing mask. I got this in a gift set, I believe, for Black Friday. Actually, you all can see the lovely green as it comes around. Do something about my brows, but I can't go anywhere to get them done and I'm not good at doing them myself. So, we'll see. Something will happen. I just can't guarantee it'll look good afterwards. Same thing with my hair, but my hair didn't look too bad after I cut it. If you haven't watched that video already, you should go back because I had a whole video where I cut my hair and you guys actually might get another update on that soon. I might do another one because my hair is getting very long again. And as of right now, the state that I live in, it's still going to be quite a few months before I am able to get vaccinated. I don't know what stage your states are at, but for me, I live in Georgia. And we actually had an issue in North Georgia where a clinic or hospital, I'm not exactly sure what exactly the place was, but a place that was administering vaccines, they started giving them out to teachers early. We are currently in phase 1A, which means that, gosh, what does that mean? 
believe it's all healthcare workers. Ah, fingers are all still green. All healthcare workers, everybody over 65, and maybe other frontline workers. I'm not entirely sure, but teachers were not included in that. Mask is on, and we're gonna set a timer for about 10 minutes. So the place that was giving the vaccines got in a lot, a lot of trouble for, I guess, allowing teachers to skip the lines. Now, this clinic literally said that they had put aside enough doses for all of the seniors in the area, all of the frontline workers. Essentially, they had vaccinated or set aside doses for all of the people to be vaccinated who were in the phase 1A. They then used the other doses because I live in the South, not everybody's getting vaccinated. They set aside the doses for the people in 1A and allowed the other doses to be opened up for teachers because they're really trying to push them to go back to school. Well, that vaccination center is no longer allowed to give out COVID-19 vaccines. So they are being super, super, super strict about vaccine protocol down here. And I am not included until phase 1C. In 1C, they finally include people under the age of 65 with pre-existing conditions. And we've been in 1A this entire time. I mean, it was the first phase. So as soon as we started getting vaccines, we were in 1A and we have been now in it four months. It's just, it's gonna be a while before I'm able to be vaccinated. So it's gonna be a long time in this house. And this hair is getting long. You guys see me moving around a little bit, but this is honestly probably more moving than I have been able to do in days. Like I told you earlier, I fell and it got to the point, I mean, it's still there. I can't really move my wheelchair around because it hurts my shoulders. So now Jake has to kind of take me to different places. I'll text him and be like, can you come get me please? Can you come take me to the bathroom? Can you come bring me this? It has been so incredibly frustrating. Not only am I having to deal with an increased level of pain because this pain is so intense, I wish I could explain it to you guys. I do have lidocaine patches that help, but like, it's just, it's bad. I have an appointment coming up in a few days with the specialist. My husband, my doctor, and I all got together and made a plan about what we're gonna ask the specialist for. We're gonna ask for some blood tests. We're gonna ask for an MRI. So we have an appointment with the specialist and I'm actually really excited for this appointment. I hope that we get some answers, but I'm also really excited because I don't have to walk. Jake and I actually, we decided to spend the money, which I mean, it was another hundred dollars. It's not terrible, not great. We got another wheelchair because I haven't been able to properly leave the house or like I can't even go around and go for a walk. I can't do anything outside of my house because moving is so, so painful and we don't want to take a wheelchair in and out because that's just germs. Especially right now we're in a global pandemic. We're trying to keep our apartment as clean as we possibly can. So we actually got a smaller wheelchair, which is easier for me to maneuver in that apartment, which is incredible. The other wheelchair was really, really hard to get into the bathroom. It was hard to get into the bedroom. This one is two inches shorter, I believe, a lot easier to move around. So that way I have a little bit more independence when I'm not dealing with intense shoulder pain that leaves me not able to move my wheelchair on my own. But getting this new smaller wheelchair means that we can use the other wheelchair that we have, the larger ones, to go outside, which means I can I'm not doing it right now because the stairs are just too much for me. But when I get to the point, or if I get to the point where I can at least like walk down the stairs, then Jake and I can go for walks together around our apartment complex and I will have my wheelchair. And we will also have that wheelchair to go to all my different doctor's appointments. And unfortunately, in this society, there is such a correlation of disability and wheelchair, of sickness and wheelchairs, of Oh, you have a wheelchair, so you're actually sick. There's actually something wrong with you. Because I am so used to dealing with chronic pain, I deal with it very well. And so I have been able to force myself to walk into these clinics and move around. But because the doctors see that, then they may not take me as seriously. So I'm kind of hoping that me showing up in a wheelchair and being like, no, I literally can't move around. Because we've told them all I'm wheelchair bound, but then they see me walking. 
And I mean, you guys see me getting up and moving around, which I still do, probably more than I should. I don't know. Getting a wheelchair has definitely been an adjustment. If anybody else has gotten a wheelchair later in life, maybe you understand it's, it's hard to get used to. And especially now with my shoulders being in pain, sometimes it's like, well, should I put my shoulders through the pain of wheeling around or just should I just put my hips through the pain of walking around? And right now my shoulders are worse than my hips. So I've been walking around a lot more, which again, not great because then it just hurts my hips. But I kind of, I mean, I have to move around at least somewhat. I have to be able to get myself to the bathroom if necessary. Jake cannot do everything for me 24 seven. He does a lot. He does, wait, ah! timer went off. He does a lot. He does way more than I could expect really anybody to do but I can't expect him to be there literally 24 seven. He has a full-time job, so. I have to be able to move around a little bit. It's just, it hurts and it's not fun. So let's get this thing off my face. I believe I got it all off. It's a good part, I guess, about it being green is it's very easy to see where it is. Go into our first serum. This is my niacinamide serum. I'm obsessed, I'm in love. I actually love all of the products from this line that I've tried. The Inky List, they're affordable. They're, please be quiet, Bubba. They're affordable, they are vegan, I believe. They are cruelty free. They're just good. Only problem is a lot of their products are out of stock a lot of the time. I'm trying to make sure that this dries down because I'm putting on a retinol. Because while I may look 16 right now, I am almost 27. Oh God. You guys are gonna get a whole video about that, about me ranting about going into my mid 20s. Not mid 20s, late 20s. Whew, about me leaving my mid 20s. I've never done well with aging. I know so many people will watch this and be like, you're not even old. I know. I just don't handle life well. I feel like that's the whole like point of this channel. Hey guys, I don't handle life well, but here are the tips that kind of help, maybe. Retinol. I am very lucky to have very good skin. This is the same thing it looked like when I started my skincare. It's only been a few months, maybe, since I started my skincare routine, so there shouldn't be any crazy differences anyways but I've also always been very lucky to have like clear skin. My skin is more dry to normal. I don't get acne, I don't get any of those sorts of things. However, when you got dry skin, it means you're gonna age. Never hurts to help it out a little bit, right? Jake says that this looks like I am rubbing melted butter on my face. Eh, if it'll even. Oh my God, am I a beauty YouTuber? The melted butter all over my face. More Inky List products. And whatever excess just goes on my hands. I really enjoy these products. No, CBD is not the end all be all. Yes, it can be very helpful for certain conditions. I actually have an entire video that I'm planning that'll come up next month, um, where I talk about CBD and medical marijuana and all those sorts of things. There's definitely lots of benefits to it. I don't think in skincare it is the end all be all, but it is super moisturizing and e.l.f. is super affordable. So I really like it and that's why I use it. Don't take anything I say as truth. I watch a lot of skincare YouTube, but it's also, I believe almost 10.30 at night. Yeah, it's 10.30 at night and I've had a really bad pain day, so my brain isn't working at 100%. All right, this is my favorite. It's another, this isn't even a CBD product. There's a difference between CBD oil and hemp seed oil. They come from the same plant, but there are differences. But this is another one of those hemp seed oil products and you can even see how completely empty it is. I have two more on the way, but I'm waiting for shipping. That is something I'm very, very, very grateful for, is that we have been able to get so many things 
shipped to our house. Like we get our groceries delivered to our house. We get my medications delivered to my house. I've spent a lot of time thinking about the really, really crappy parts of this pandemic and how much it sucks that Jake and I have had to be inside for almost a year now, how we can't interact with other people, how one of my best friends lives 10 minutes down the street and I can't even like hang out with her and her kids. It breaks my heart and it sucks and it has had a huge effect on my mental health. But I'm also really, really trying to practice gratitude and I am just very grateful that we are living in a pandemic in a time of the internet and of delivery. Like, I can't imagine what it would be like if I couldn't even call my friends or if I couldn't order something I needed. Like, it's not like Jake and I have to go without groceries or something like that for an extended period of time because we're too scared to go outside. We can get them delivered. We don't have to worry about going and getting them medication. We don't have to worry about writing a letter and waiting for a response. You know what I mean? There's text messaging, there's FaceTime. I spend a lot of time on uh, Facebook video chat, I believe it is, because a lot of my friends don't have iPhones so they can't FaceTime with me. So I just, I'm really grateful that while this pandemic sucks and there's a lot of negatives to it, we are living in a day and age that is making the pandemic a lot easier than it could be. All right, I don't even think I need this moisturizer. I actually have enough of that one. So we're just gonna leave that. And the last thing I do is just some lip mask. I'm actually really excited. I ordered a new product that is supposed to be like a vegan cruelty free version of Vaseline which is my preferred lip treatment honestly anything like that Vaseline and Aquaphor like as a person with tattoos I love and swear by Aquaphor so if I can find a vegan cruelty free version of that product that would be lovely all right so that is my skincare routine it is Again, 10.30 at night, so I should probably go spend some time with my husband before we have to go to bed. And I need to upload these clips onto the computer before I go to bed or else it'll never get edited tomorrow. I am so, so excited to be back with you guys. I have a lot coming for you. I have a lot planned. So just get excited with me. Please let me know if there are any topics about mental health, chronic illness, anything really that you want to hear me talk about. Let me know down below. Let me know how you guys are doing. I I notice every single person that comments, obviously I try to respond to everybody like I said before, but I have missed getting the little inputs and insights into your guys' lives that I used to get twice a week. So I'm really excited to be able to talk to you guys more regularly again and just, I don't know, get that sense of love, community, positive energy, everything out there. This is the part where I tell you, if you haven't already, to smash that like button for me, click subscribe, and ring the notification bell. I'm going to be trying my best to upload two videos a week, one on Tuesdays and one on Fridays at 11 a.m. So, I mean, don't get mad at me if I don't get every single video up, but I'm gonna be trying. And don't get mad at me if more of these videos are just me sitting here doing my skincare talking to you guys because that may be all my mental health can handle, but you know, I would rather do that. I think that's real. I think that's real life. <clears throat> mm. I think that's real life. Like you can't just ignore the bad days and I want to work through them. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe this will be helpful to somebody, but even if it's not helpful to anybody out there, it'll be helpful to me. It'll be like a little diary. You know what I mean? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I missed you, I love you all so, so much. And I hope to, not I hope to, I will see you soon. Bye. Hey baby girl, can you say hi? Sadie just came in to say hi to me so I figured I would put her in too. Cause what YouTube video is complete without a cute puppy, huh? She said Charlie was already in it, but I'm cuter.